Hello, it's Dr. Elizabeth Alter. Did you hear about a recent study that showed that um, low-dose aspirin and fish oil um, did not provide any um, net clinical benefit um, to patients um, in terms of preventing heart disease and in, in, in patients with diabetes. So it's very important for um, research to take place. And when my patients come to me about studies that show things like this, um, no benefit um, to, to helping prevent heart disease in, in patients with diabetes, I always look at who funded the study and what kind of study was done. So um, in this case, I looked at some of the deeper layers in terms of the, of the study, and it seems that it was done um, not by a pharmaceutical company. But nonetheless, I think that when there's a statement made about this, patients tend to think, well, I'm not going to take fish oil then. Um, this one included low-dose aspirin and fish oil. So I'm with them on the low-dose aspirin because I, I really think um, aspirin has some other implications. But in terms of the fish oil, uh, fish oil is just such a tried and true nutrient. Um, so I have many patients that grew up with a spoonful of cod liver oil first thing in the morning, and um, and they always rave about the benefits, but obviously not the taste. But um, to to say that uh, to to throw out your fish oil over um, this particular study, I would say would be a, a disservice to your health. I think fish oil really benefits um, the body in many other ways, heart health, brain health, and, um, and just overall um, decreasing inflammation in the body. So before you consider making a decision uh, based on a news article, make sure you discuss it with your doctor or someone who can help you sort out the information. Thank you and have a healthy day.